Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Corner HVAC. I'm glad you joined me today. I got a couple things to talk to you about, but first, I wanted to say thank you to all the current and future subscribers out there. All the likes, the shares, the comments, all that kind of stuff that I see, I love it. I get to talk to people from all over the place, and I think that's awesome. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so. That way you can be part of the community uh, and see all the future videos coming out and that kind of stuff. So if you're not subscribed, hit the button. It's YouTube. You know how to do it. It's not that hard, but it really does mean a lot. The other thing is, if you follow the videos regularly, you know that Andy's Corner HVAC will be going to print pretty soon. Uh, first edition books will be ready to release shortly. As soon as they're ready for purchase, uh, there will be links in the bio of the channel as well as links in the description of each video that comes out. So be on the look out for that as soon as it's here as soon as it's ready the next one's on its way reverse polarity is a very common problem on modern day gas furnaces this is one of the many problems that you could be experiencing but i will say this is the most common this is the one that we see out there on a regular basis and it's pretty easy to fix now if your furnace does have a 120 volt plug-in plugged into the wall there could be some wiring problems that you will need a professional First, we'll start with the transformer. A 120 volt transformer in your furnace takes 120 volts down to 24 volts for all the controls, your thermostat, and everything that the furnace needs. On the top, you'll see a white neutral wire that comes in. On the bottom, we have a black 120 volt hot. Now, the power goes through those, that transformer and comes out those two wires as 24 volt low voltage. That, that is carried by those two wires down to your control board. To, for the board to redistribute out everywhere the low voltage is needed, your thermostat, safety controls, etc. Now these are your thermostat connections here. The red R wire is what we're going to need to pay attention to, so remember this wire for when we come back to it. Down here at the bottom, it is very hard to see, but it does say line underneath there on one of those terminals. That is 120 hot coming into the furnace. Now be very careful with this. We want no accidents out there whatsoever. And Andy's Corner HVAC does always recommend to have a licensed professional take care of any of these issues. In order to test for this, we are going to need a meter. Here we'll be using one of my old multimeters. This is a very basic multimeter. In this case, for this test, we will set it to 200 volts AC because the AC current is what we have on these furnaces. Now, back to these terminals. Up here at the top, we talked about the low voltage 24 volt, and at the bottom, it's 120 hot. We're going to want to test between those two terminals, and if we have in the around 150 volts, we have reverse polarity. If we have in the mid-90s, we have correct polarity. So let's see what this furnace is doing. We're going to take one meter lead, and we're going to place it on 120 volts hot. Now we will take our other meter lead and place it on 24 volt hot. Now, like I said, if we read in the around 150, we have reverse polarity. Here we have 149.6, that is reverse polarity. It is actually a very simple fix to correct this. I do recommend shutting the power off and using a pair of pliers in order to remove these wires. So shut your power off, and then you can remove these two low voltage wires. Remember, not the hot wires, not 120. These are 24 volts. Reverse them. Where one was on top, put it on bottom. Where one was on bottom, put it on top. We will reinstate the power to the unit and we'll do the same thing with our test all over again. Take our two meter leads, one on 120 volt hot, the other on 24 volt hot. And just like in this case here, we read 94 volts. Like I said, in the mid 95s or in the mid 90s, you have correct polarity. We have just fixed this furnace. Everything's ready to go and you'll stay warm for the winter. Thank you and God bless.